guitar enthusiasts, I'm going to show you step by step how to play the intro to Johnny Cash's Walk the Line. And not only that, I'm going to show you a really cool technique for introducing strumming into this intro as well. So we're gonna be going over a walking bass line for this intro, and for the most part, it's just quarter notes and eighth notes. So the rhythm is mostly gonna be one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and et cetera, et cetera. The great thing about this intro is it's, it's pretty simple for beginners. It's mostly the open strings. We will be mostly using the second frets and the fourth frets. And every once in a while, we will come on this first fret just one time over a B7 chord. So let's start off with the pickup. So the pickup is the part that comes before the song or leads us into the song. And it's just three notes. It's an open, two, four. Okay, and I'm mostly using fingers one and three on a lot of this song. So I'll try and mention that as I go through. So we have the top string, open, two, four. Okay, so it's and, four, and. Okay, one more time, open, two, four. Now we come to the first measure, and this will be played under an A chord. We're gonna be doing the open A string, the open E string, and then back to the A string, open twice, and then two, four. So there's that two, four again with fingers one, three. Okay, so from the beginning it would be zero, two, four, one, two, three, and four, and, okay, and four, and one, two, three, and four, so that's our first couple of measures. The next measure is over a D chord. So the D chord is the open D string, the open A string, the open D string twice, and then four two on um, A string. Sorry, losing my mind here. Now we've come back to an A chord, but we're playing something a little bit different here. We're starting on the open A note, but if you listen to the recording, he comes down to a high note here. So we're playing the second fret on the D string. So it's open A, second fret on the D string, right back up to the open A twice, and then four two on the top string. So you can see we've mostly just been using the first and third finger. So let's go through just that first line. So we got one, two, three, and four, and Okay, so that's the first line. Well, now let's move on to the second line where we're gonna be playing over our first E chord here, okay? And it's gonna be open E string, second fret on the A string, and then this one, we're repeating the second fret on the A string, coming up to open E, second fret on the E, open E. So this one's gonna be one, two, three, and four, and again, one, two, three, and four, and. Now the next one, we're gonna have to switch our fingers up a little bit because we're playing over a, a B7 chord here, so we need to get this first fret on the D string, okay? So what I would recommend, we just had our second finger, or we just had our first finger on the second fret up here on the E string, I would put my second finger below and rotate this first finger up to the first fret. So how we're going to play this is second finger on the second fret of the A string, then first finger on the first fret of the D string, back to the second fret on the A string, then open, and then four, two. So I would adjust my hand back now to fingers three, one. So if I go through that again, second finger starting here on the second fret, a string. So let me just play those two measures together. So it's going to be E. And then 
once you're here, you're getting to the intro of the song and we're just gonna be alternating between the E. So sixth string, fifth string, all eighth notes. So let me take this through one time, top to bottom, and you guys can loop it. If you've got a Vidami looper pedal, you can loop this as much as you need to and slow it down. But I'm gonna go through one time slow and then one time a little bit faster, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna spice this up with some strumming. One, two, three, and four, and one. Now a little faster, one, two, three, and four, and Now you probably saw on that I didn't take my own advice and flip my finger up to that first fret, uh, but fortunately I'm fast enough that I could fix that on the fly and get the correct notes. But now you can see kind of more of the timing of the song, and this is where now it's important, you gotta know the timing, because if you don't know the timing down, we can't add this cool little strumming thing that I'm gonna show you next. So I'm gonna show you now is a little bit more probably late beginner to early intermediate, but let me show you what it's gonna sound like. So you kind of get the idea now of what we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing this intro, but we're going to be going between playing almost what's like a lead line to strumming. That's why you got to get that timing down in the beginning. So let's get into this and show you how we're going to add this in. So everything's the same in terms of what you just learned, except we're going to be adding two 16th note strums after the one and after the two. What do I mean? So let's go to this A chord and it's going to be a Bass, down, up. So you're just gonna be doing a quick down, up after that bass note. Bass, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, down, up. I call this boom chucka. You know, if you watched my original video on how to learn the lesson, we did boom chuck. Boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck. Well, this is gonna be boom chucka. Boom chucka, boom chucka, boom chucka, boom chucka. And all it is is it's the bass note followed by a quick down up. So it's that really cool classic kind of like old country style sound that everyone wants to know how to do it. Well, this is how you do it. So if we go through just the first few chords, we've got our A chord and we would hit the open fifth string and then we would do our chaka, our down up. Then we would come up to the sixth string, open, chaka, and then we'd have those four notes afterwards. So instead of just going, we're now gonna go, and then we come to our D chord, and instead of just going, we're gonna go, Okay, so you can see on the diagram, we're trying to ignore the bass note we just played. So on the A, trying to skip over it and just get the bottom four strings, and on the up strum, I maybe only am getting two or three of the strings, and then on that D, trying to ignore the fourth string if I can, and then strum up, all right? And then on the E chord, it would be, And our B7 chord, okay, this might be tricky for some of you why it's a little more intermediate.
So my students ask me all the time, Lauren, how do I go between playing a lead line or a bass line in this case to playing a strumming pattern? So what I want to show you is how you can approach this. And what I would do is just take one chord at a time. So I would take this A chord, okay? And I would just focus on going as slow as you need to that it's smooth. So it's going to be... Okay, and then I would go back and do that A again. Now the great thing about this particular song is that most of the notes after you strum is actually an open string. So that gives you time to release the note and then come back and start playing the individual notes. So watch here on this A chord. So we've got the A. So at this point, I can release my finger while I'm trying to get those single notes, okay? And the same on the D and the A chord. When you get to the E chord in the B7, these are also helpful because the first note you have to play on both the E and the B7 is this second fret on the A string. And both of those are held down by the chord, so you're already there. That's great. You don't even have to lift your hand off the chord until after you play that first note. And guess what? The next note after that is an open string. So it works out well on all of these chords. My recommendation would just be go slow, take one chord at a time, and then puzzle piece, put them all together. So let's go through this first at a slow pace and then a little bit more up to speed to show you guys what it's gonna sound like. One, two, three, and four, and... All right, and let's pick it up to speed just a little bit more. One and two and three and four and... If you guys enjoyed learning this boom chuck pattern and you want more songs to play along to, then check out my step-by-step -step lesson for Folsom Prison Blues where we learn how to play the song from the beginning to the end. I'll see you guys there.